What's going on guys? I'm Andrew with Camper Kingdom and I'm up here at our 45 North location and I just happened to run across this, the Sandpiper Destination Series. I'm up here taking some pictures, getting everything updated for our website and I was like, wow, I don't think I've seen this one in person and I'm about to move it. That's why my steps are located like this for right now. But model number 402 FK, vacuum bonded construction, Detachable hitch. There we go. I'll zoom out for you. Underbelly washer and dryer prep. Seasonal protection package. Two inch thick vacuum bonded walls. Foam block insulation. Radiant foil and 80% tint on all of your windows. Just, I'm excited to see it. And I guess we'll see it together for the first time. And let's get started. So I do apologize in advance if the video quality is any different. I typically video with a GoPro and I was not expecting to find this model in here today. So I grabbed my cell phone and I just I just can't pass up the opportunity. Well, let's take a look at some of the numbers before we get too, get too far into the vehicle. Total length of 40 feet, four inches. Dry weight as it currently sits of 10,911. You've got 2,410 pounds of available cargo capacity. Riding on 6,000 pound axles and a gross vehicle weight rating of 13,380. On demand water heater, the main width on the Sandpiper is 96 inches wide. And I'll try to put the height somewhere here in the video. Three total slide outs, front kitchen. Pay no attention to the protective pad. We typically leave those on and it gets removed once it arrives at the customer's location. But the steps, you probably noticed I had them in the door. They are removable from here and here. Those will probably be stored inside of the RV once, you know, while you're in transportation. That's probably about a 20 foot awning and you've got an LP quick disconnect for maybe a gas grill on the outside here. Let's check a look, take a look at this door friction hinge so tent on all the windows I do apologize typically on my videos I give you power so all the lights are on and even the air conditioners but I'm not able to do so today two slides in your front kitchen I love the solid surface countertops that are continuous all the way throughout no carpet inside the coach it's replaced with this woven type material now your slide box I'm six foot two, and I've got probably maybe three or four inches over my head, so plenty of room in the slides if you are standing up. This is your seat from the seat sleeper sofa, viewing the Connex TV. You also got a Connex sound bar. Electric fireplace, those only produce right at 5,000 BTUs. However, notice the randomly placed floor vents throughout the floor. I'll show you another one when we, when we continue. Thomas Payne Collection Furniture, this is two theater seats, and there's going to be LED lights underneath. Here's your pull handle. Your windows on board are going to be trimmed out with black roller shades, and don't forget, all the windows are pre-tinted from the factory. USB charger and 110 outlet. I'm pretty sure there's uh, some kind of curtain or maybe some little flappy thingies stored under the bed for your sliding glass door. This is the sleeper sofa here. I'll try to input some pictures or maybe a video showing you the walk around room once that let out is, is let out into its full sleeping arrangement. So it looks like possibly sleeping room for four on board. This will be your dining area. I like the table already because there's no legs. It is attached to the wall, so taller guys like myself have plenty of room to sit. And again, with the slide being over six foot two, I have plenty of room at least to stand up. So standing up at the table will not be an issue. Let's look at your island in the middle now. Lots of prepping space. Solid surface countertops, ball bearing hinges, slam resistant latches, that's nice to see. Let's look at your cooking now. Insignia microwave, we'll open that up and see if it's a convection. I don't think it's going to be with this Insignia oven. This is a full residential size, four different burners on the top. Here's my hand in reference for size. 
adjustable shelf by at least three or four more up or down. And I'm guessing this is our pantry. Pretty deep, you're probably looking at maybe 20 inches deep by maybe 18 inches wide. I'm probably really off on that. That's probably 24 by 14 solid wood pullouts. Slam resistant latches. And these here probably pull out a good 24 inches too. Let's take a look at our fridge. So with this being a destination model, your fridge, if you are in transportation, will not stay cold. This is not a 12 volt fridge and there is no inverter built, on, built in. So just be mindful of that. These are designed to be put in place and left for an extended period of time. Maybe take them to a beach. Take them to just your second home away from home area, wherever that may be. Tell me in the comments below, where is it that you are viewing this video from, by the way? That's pretty interesting to see. I'll have analytics showing videos, excuse me, customers or viewers, should I say, are watching our videos from all over the country. Front kitchen, look at all the additional storage. Your sink. Single basin undermount sink with a residential style faucet. Max air fan, fan for the fan on the ceiling, 12 volt outlets, GFE outlets also. And these windows are also tinted with the black roller shades. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description down below that takes you over to our website where you, maybe you can view some more additional photos of each of these models that I post. I like the lighting, recessed can lighting. Let's look at our MSRP and price before we head to the back. So a date and time I'm making this video, let's go over the MSRP. Beach interior color. You've got the second air conditioner in the bedroom. Stabilizer jacks, washer and dryers already installed, solid surface countertops. MSRP, 84578. Maybe you can pause the video here to read that better. And of course, our sales price can be found over at our website. Link found in that description down below. Let's head to the back now and look at the bathroom in the bedroom. So all the controls for the unit, I should point that out, are right here next to the door. Light switches, holding tank monitoring station, even the awning extend to retract. And it looks like one switch to control all three of your slides on board. This is your ceiling fan control and one of the thermostats. Porcelain foot flush toilet, two piece plastic shower with unlimited headroom, at least seven feet plus. Once you're in the shower, pretty much a standard bathroom for a destination model though. And I really still like to see the manufacturers maybe put those solid surface in the bathrooms. Feels like a plastic sink and your medicine cabinet. Thank you to all the subscribers out there, guys. I really do appreciate you all. Pretty much a standard layout again. Your wardrobe will be found on the back. The second 15K air conditioner. This looks and appears to be like a king size bed. No visible shelf or maybe a cell phone or a CPAP machine. If you want it or had to have a shelf, this is where you're gonna have that hook, those hookups at with the 12 volt and 110. Your second thermostat. Your wardrobe. And this will be your washer and dryer. I guess I should close this. Brand is by Splendid. And this is the foot of your bed. Look at the walking space, probably at least 24, maybe almost 36 inches of space here. The screen door is attached to the RV once it's in, in location. But let's look under your bed, trimmed out again with no carpet, that same woven material. There's a better shot of the 12 volt 110 and your heating. Let's step outside because there's something important that needs to be talked about. Looks like I got a visitor. So 
let's go around to your connections. So first of all, this is the manual scissor jacks, one found on each of the four corners. Fully enclosed underbelly. These are the new four by four sheets. It's a lot easier to remove these if you have to get under there to work. LED lighting, that's very nice to see. I would have liked to have seen a ladder. The exhaust for your furnace. But let's come up to our sewer connections. Okay, so right here, gray, black, and gray. One opening, and then you have another up here. Of course, this is gonna be because you have the front kitchen. City water connections and your black tank flush is all found here. TV connections, an outdoor shower. That is the 50 amp power core connections located back here as well. And right back to where we started at. Removable tongue jack. So once you get this thing in place, you can, I would recommend having it blocked up in multiple locations before doing this, but you can remove the tongue jack and maybe make it a little bit more nicer with some skirting around if you're gonna leave it in place for a longer period of time. Overall, I'm kind of impressed with this new 2023 Sandpiper. What is your opinion? Let me know down below. Continue to like and subscribe. Come see us.